Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I have a meal prep video for you guys and everything is easy and keto, just the way I like it. In case you haven't guessed it, I'm still doing the hats and still in desperate need of a haircut. It seems like this much of my hair is probably dead ends at this point. Ugh, so I know you guys are having the same issues as I am. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, welcome. Go ahead and do so. I'd love to have you as a member. I do tons of keto related videos and I even throw in the occasional Dollar Tree haul. I have a Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy. You guessed it, it's all about keto. So make sure you head over there and join. I'll have it linked in the description box so that all you have to do is just click on that. I also have an Instagram page. It'll be right here for you guys. You can go over there and join and I post over there daily. I do have some exciting news to share. Oh, and it's about perfect keto. I have a discount with them and it is a good one. It's on their base. I absolutely love their base. It's an exogenous ketone. It is buy two and you get one free. Is that not amazing? I'll have the link, the code, everything you need down below in the description box. For me, I use the base every single day. It helps curb my appetite, gives me focus, gives me energy, and it extends a fast while giving me the magnesium I need for the day. So if you've not checked out Perfect Keto Base in the past, now's the time to do it. Run, just run and go get it. Perfect Keto did recently reformulate their base. Again, this is an exogenous ketone. It says right here on the side that it's keto friendly. It also says gluten free, dairy free, doctor formulated and lab tested. It does come in a ton of different flavors. So something will suit you. This is their previous formula that's on sale right now. Buy two, get one free while they last. Don't miss this sale. This is amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's meal prep video. I'm making the girls some waffles slash chaffles to get through the week. I like easy breakfast because all they gotta do is get up, warm something in the microwave and be done with it. And I don't have to cook something really big because right now they're still doing homeschooling projects, of course. You need coconut flour, eggs, cream cheese, and sugar. I was inspired by Nicole Burgess using the strawberry extract in her recent video. So I'm gonna be using it in mine today. But I've also done these with lemon, cake batter, vanilla, maple, whatever you want. So this is about one and a half ounces of cream cheese. Then I'm gonna add in my two eggs, a teaspoon of keto sweetener, one teaspoon extract of choice, and today I am using the strawberry, one tablespoon of coconut flour, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this up till it is completely liquefied. I've went ahead and coated my little waffle iron with some coconut oil and then I'm just going to put enough on here. I like to add enough so that there are no holes. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close that up. I like to get them to the point where they're just brown. I'm going to take this one off and start the next one. When they don't completely cover, I just take a little spatula and go over them so everything's covered up and then I completely close it and let it cook. Okay, waffles are done. It makes about four. That will do broadly all week. She'll usually eat one every morning with either bacon or sausage. She'll put a little bit of syrup and butter over that and then some cut up fruit and that's enough for her. Again, she's my 11 year old. Kerrigan is my 18 year old and she has been doing intermittent fasting since before it was cool. She has never been a breakfast person, so she usually completely skips it and goes straight to lunch. So these should definitely last us the next four days. I've just been picking up my bacon at Walmart recently, so I don't have to go into any grocery stores. This one is just great value, Applewood smoked bacon. It is a dirtier keto because right here, sugar, but your carb count is still zero. So hopefully this doesn't affect me. What I'm gonna do is like I always do. I'm gonna take my bacon, I'm gonna cut it in half. It just fries up faster that way and it's something that Chris has got me doing, my husband and I'm gonna cook it up like that. Bacon is done, and I'm just gonna it in a glass container, cooling before I put the lid on it, put it in the fridge, but do not throw this bacon grease away. 
I just buy a Dollar Tree glass container that comes with a lid and that's what I store my bacon grease in. Amazing to cook with. It gives your food so much flavor. Cutting up cucumbers is definitely a weekly occurrence in my household now that Riley is home 24-7 because she is just the kid that's obsessed with cucumbers. She does not like the skin, so I have to go ahead and peel them. It's easier if I just go ahead and do that instead of leaving these in my vegetable drawer because they're more likely to go bad. So if I go ahead and peel them, put them in a glass container, she's going to be able to see them. And when she asks, Mom, can I have a snack? Boom, here it is. She can just go get it herself. I decided to only cut up three. It did completely fill up this glass container, but I wanted to save these other two for salads later on this week. And if I cut them up now and add them to this bowl, they will be gone in a matter of probably two days because she would eat this whole bowl right now with a little bit of pink salt if I let her. Prepping some keto chow for this week. I am showing this because Chris makes the orange cream completely different than the others. The other ones we just add water and melted butter, but on the orange cream, he says he now adds heavy whipping cream and water to that. So in case you don't know, this is new. This is the chocolate peanut butter sample packs. Keto Chow now offers those. They hadn't in the past. So if you wanna try Keto Chow, I have a discount code, it'll be linked below. But again, if you don't wanna buy a huge bag like the, we do, we have like 12 huge bags. You can buy just little sample packs. And again, they have the chocolate peanut butter and that is one of our favorites, of course. So to make the regular ones like the eggnog and the peanut butter, Chris will take half a stick of butter, we'll melt that. I'm gonna add the butter to my magic bullet. Then I'm gonna add about 12 ounces of warm water. That's the key. You don't wanna add anything cold to that butter or it solidifies again. I only put half in at a time, then I'll add my scoop. This one is the eggnog, and I just made mess. Then I'm gonna pour the rest of my water over top of that. Add my lid, and now I'm just going to mix this. Add that to your shaker bottle with the little blender ball already inside, and then we're gonna refrigerate these overnight because the longer they sit, the better they are. So for the orange and cream, he says he puts in half a cup of heavy whipping cream, one scoop of the orange cream, and then cold water. And this is about 10 ounces. And the only reason we're doing 10 ounces is because it completely maxes out our bullet. If you have something like a blender to make these in, add more water and it won't be as thick, but this one makes it really thick. Now all I'm gonna do is blend. Right now, this one is Chris's absolute favorite. Again, I'm just gonna pour that in the blender bottle and let it sit overnight. Look at my mess. Ugh. Keto chows are made for the week. Store these in the refrigerator. If you let them sit overnight, they do get better. If you want them thinner, add more water but we like ours a little thick and you can do so much with these. There are tons of recipes on their site. They have a great biscuit recipe that I make with the chicken keto chow and you can also make ice cream with these. These are a better alternative now to your regular protein shakes because when you add your own fats, you can customize them and they're gonna be higher in fat than they are protein. This is pretty much a weekly occurrence in my house, boiling eggs for Briley to have throughout the week. We'll make egg salad, deviled eggs, and she'll just have bold eggs. I'm just gonna go ahead and make all the ones I have in this little container, cause I have more outside. And yes, I don't use an Instapot, I still do this on the stove. Once they're done, I do about a five to 10 minute ice bath to completely cool these off. Okay, we went ahead and peeled these. I'm just gonna leave them like this so we can make fresh egg salad as we need to or get a hard boiled egg for a snack. Riley's already got her bowl. I think she's getting ready to make some egg salad. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. Go ahead and like and subscribe, share, do everything you can. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.